My name is Cindy Lapori, and I'm going to teach you how to feel the subtle energies of this world. Um, nowadays, with the, there being so many chaotic energies and, and so many things going on, it's especially important for us to keep our energies free and clear and to enable ourselves to figure out what our own energies are without any interference from the outside world. This helps us to feel safe. It helps us to feel more balanced and it helps us to be able to cope better with the changes that are going on. It also enables us to know when the frequencies are changing and when we need to be cleared. So the first thing that I would like to show you is how to form a bubble. There's few things on this planet that cause us joy and the dolphins a long time ago taught me this exercise and how to feel the energies in a better way and how to share it with you. So. Here's the first thing that you do. You take your hands and you put them out about two feet and then you bring them in very gradually. Pretty soon you're going to feel almost like a pressure. It's not going to be a whole lot, especially at first. So what you want to do when you feel this pressure, for some people it feels almost like magnets that are pushing their hands apart. For some people it feels warm. For some people it feels cool. Um, you'll figure out your own way to detect these energies, but it's going to be about a foot apart in between your hands, at least starting out. Now, the more you get used to feeling these energies, the more you're going to be able to feel them further and further out. So I want you to practice with this regularly. If you can't feel the energies at all, then just imagine a beautiful, beautiful bubble being in between your hands. But most people, at least after a while, are going to be able to detect and feel these energies. So when you have a pretty good sense of where these energies are, I want you to practice doing it like a slinky and feeling the energies pour from one hand to the other. They'll be almost like a very subtle sensation, almost like a slinky. So play with that. When you get used to this part, then you can actually work with other people, make the energy bubble, and practice playing with them and moving them around and even throwing them from person to person to get used to how this energy really feels. So the next thing I'd like to do is show you the, the um, exercise that's going to enable you to use this bubble, expand this bubble, and clear your energy fields. Nowadays, we have so many frequencies, so much stimuli in, on the planet that it's very hard for us to find our own sacred space. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to form that bubble and then allow it to expand and expand and get bigger and bigger until it actually encompasses from about a foot below your feet to about two feet above your head. If you like, you can stop the tape for a moment and just kind of get a sense of this. Now, we live in our own energy fields. This is called an aura. In this aura, there's different um, electromagnetic centers that go from your head to your feet. So when you get this bubble totally formed, I want you to just take a scan and go from your feet to your head. You can drop your hands when you feel the bubble is fully formed. And just do a scan. You can close your eyes if you like because many times it's easier to feel these energies with your eyes closed than it is with your eyes opened. You also might want to, especially at first, find a quiet place where you're by yourself in order to practice this. As you get your confidence up, you'll be able to do it anywhere. So do a scan from your feet all the way to your head once this bubble is made. And take a deep breath. Now any areas that don't feel in balance, I want you to just look at them with your mind's eye, observe them, and start breathing through them. You can see energies that are a different color, a different texture, a different feel or energies that have an emotion in them. It really doesn't matter what they are. You're not here to analyze or make up stories about these energies. But what you are here to do is to simply observe them 
and as you observe them, you're going to see them change. When you fully observe them and find out how much they weigh, what the temperature of them is, ask these energies if they have a message for you. If in fact they do, you will hear this message in your mind. Uh, very few people actually hear audible voices. So expect a very soft voice in your mind and ask the energy once you detect it if it would like to be absorbed or if it would like to be let go of. You're not here to make up stories about it. You're here to ask the energy what it wants. So when you get an answer, if in fact the energy does want to be released, then observe the energy going into your heart space. Our heart spaces as human beings is one of the most transform transformative um, places that we have in order to transform energies. There is nothing that love cannot transform. So allow a pathway to go from this energy into your heart space. And when it feels like it's fully in your heart space, then allow the door to your heart to open and the energy will know how to release. Some people see it as butterflies. Some people see it as sparklers. Some people just see it as a big whoosh. You'll find your own way on how to do that. If the energy does want to be absorbed, then after all the energy gets into your heart space, allow it to do what it does and absorb into your body and into your cells. It knows how to do this too. All you have to do is allow it. Meanwhile, simply observing.